Welcome to Crazy Towns, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. ba -ding. All right, TNT. I want to bring this up, and this it'll be a little old by the time we talk about it. But That's fine. It, tragedy happened in Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have former former prime minister, uh, Shinzo Abe. I'm not sure. That's I'm not pronouncing it properly, I'm sure. But uh, is it Abe? It is Abe. Abe. Um, no Abe. Was killed uh, while giving a speech. Um, they, I saw an article that compared this to uh, like Japan's JFK moment, but he wasn't actively president when it happened. Yeah, so it's a little, a, it's a pretty big thing. He was, I think, he was a pretty popular prime minister over there. Too. Oh, they said, yeah, yeah they said he was, he was really loved. well liked. Yeah, he yeah. was. But uh, did you see the gun this dude used? He, he made he made a homemade gun. Well, guns aren't legal over there. Right. It was a homemade battery operated yeah. gun. Yeah. I was like, what? it wasn't even 3D printed. It was like it was like electrical tape. Yeah, and I was gonna say that like electrical tape on it. Dude, dude it was crazy. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. crazy. Um, but I did find in an article. I did not realize how hard it is to own a gun in Japan. Did you see the stipulations of what no, you have to do I to get a I'm not gun? familiar. Holy it, crap, dude. Give me, okay. give me some, some <clears throat> So everyone's like, in America, ha ha, you know, legal guns, whatever. In Here's what you have to do in Japan. Yeah. You have to attend an all-day class. You have to pass a written test. Okay. You have to pass a shooting range test with an accuracy of at least 95%. Wow. You have to undergo mental health evaluation and drug tests. Okay. You have to undergo a rigorous background check, including a review of your criminal record, your personal debt, your involvement in organized crime, and relationships with family and friends. Yeah. Also, after obtaining the gun, the owner must register their weapon with the police and provide details of where their gun and ammunition is stored in separate locked compartments. The gun must be inspected by the police once a year, and gun owners must retake the class and sit an exam every three years to renew their license. Okay. And you wonder why America has crazy folks with guns. Wow. Dude, you, you always say we're not political, and you you're quick but to no, get political I mean, with it. That's not really a political statement. It, like, you now, made it that way. Personally, <laughs> personally, I think that's a little too much. Do you? I do. I, like, look, I'm I'm going to put it to you like this, man. It it is their house, it's their rules, and I'm not mad at those rules because we are talking about an instrument that is used to kill people. Oh, a thousand percent. It a hundred percent has no other purpose than to kill. Right now, I see, I see the the rationale of like I'm buying these guns to go hunting, but there's certain guns that you use for hunting. You don't use handguns to go hunt. Mm. You use shotguns, you use rifles, mm. depending on what it is. Those have a purpose of I'm gonna go hunt animals for yeah. food. Yeah. But all these, yeah. There's, I mean, I, I mean, any gun, any gun course that you go through in in America, they're going to tell you do not aim that thing at something you do not intend to kill. Right. I mean, that's the general rule of a gun. Yeah. I mean, you're taught to, to use disabling shots if you're a police officer. You're taught to, you know, two to the chest and then try try to drop them, but don't try to kill them. Of course, but don't aim the thing at anything you want. You want you don't want to kill is the, is the idea. So if you're going to deliver that into the hands of somebody. I think it makes sense that they should have to go through some pretty rigorous shit. Now, on the same note, I'm an American 100%, and I believe that we should have our rights to own guns, and God damn it, I don't think it should be difficult. I love the way Texas handles things. Yeah, give everybody a gun. Fuck that. <laughs> I live in this and country, and can, I love this country. And you can you can hide them, or you can walk around just carrying and it on God your person. God damn right, <laughs> and that's the American way. And honestly, I feel like if you're going to make that rule apply to everybody, that rule should apply to everybody. Yeah. In their case, if that rule is going to apply to everybody, then that rule should apply to everybody. Oh, I agree. I agree. Like, yeah, I, I don't want guns to be that hard to get in the U.S. Yeah. But, like, I still think, yeah, like, there should be it, – it's, you know, like, they're talking about raising the age to maybe 21 or whatever. I mean, that's fair. I mean, but here's the thing. thing. You can be 18 in the Army. They handed you an AR-15 in the yeah. Army at yeah. 18. So <laughs> why do you need to be 21 yeah. to own one in yep. outside the Army? You can give your life for this country, but you can't get a drink. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and that's and that's where you're like it's yeah, yeah. it it's it's we there's a lot of uh hip hypocrisy. It, 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 it there is a lot of hypocrisy. There is. And that and that's part of the issue. And it's with, not just guns, it's with lots of different controversial topics. Yeah. And that's just the 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 problem with like having a government that is supposed to represent people with such diverse ideas about how things should be run and Yeah. 
I don't know. It, I, I feel oh, like a lot Lord. of this. I'm sorry. Oh, I, said, well, I just had an epiphany, but go ahead. Finish your thought. Oh, I, I don't know. I feel like there's just a lot of disjointed ideals in this country. And it's because we're so young. And we, like I said, we haven't really come up with an identity. I, yet. I just, when you said that, I, you know, I've always realized like, you know, America, America is the most diverse country because everyone from America is an immigrant, right? Yeah. We, we've all yeah. came from somewhere else. Yeah, 100%. But I guess I Except never. Except for the indigenous people. Or, but, right, exactly. <laughs> but the, um. But I guess what I never thought of is like when you're in Japan or India or China mm -hmm. or stuff like that, the culture there is a very old and ancient culture and yeah. generation after generation after generation have been raised the same way. So the people exactly. who come into the government have the same ideals. They have the same idea generally. Right. Mm -hmm. But America, you have 300 million people. Everyone there's there's white, black, Hispanic, Asian, you know, uh, mm -hmm. Pacific Islander, like. Boom, and they're all coming from different cultures. They they think things should happen a different way. Some mm -hmm. have are here, lived here their whole life. Some have grown up in other countries. Whole, it's like, so no wonder it's like damn chaos when you try to get anyone on the same page. Mm -hmm. Because there's no culture here that is the American culture. And I wouldn't even say, that's not to detract from the fact that in these other countries, they have protests too. And they, oh, have, absolutely, and yeah. they have things that the government does that aren't favorable by certain groups of people. And it could be like economically based. It can be like uh, certain areas just have different ideas about like Putin setting off and starting a war. Right. Like there's people in the streets. You ask questions that are like, yeah, we should right. be doing that. And but that's also course, propaganda too. Yeah. And, but of course there's people yeah. that don't. And then you think about like age old, like Korea, North Korea and how their culture is like, obviously those people aren't too happy about the situation that they're in when like two thirds of your people are living in absolute poverty. Right. But, uh, it's just more along the lines of, I guess the government has gotten better about hiding it <laughs> so much <laughs> from yeah. us. I don't know, man. We're very open. We're very built on freedom. And, you know, we we are definitely coming into our own identity. It's more like, what is that going to be? Yeah. yeah what is it really going to be? But it's nuts because, yeah, you're, I mean, that, that it's how can, how can you not have arguments when everyone's from, there's a yeah. million cultures yeah. that are all blended yeah. together. That's definitely going to happen. That's, it's yeah. it's going to pr probably be more prevalent here than it is in any other country because we all don't look Asian or we all don't look Russian or we all don't look Swedish. Right, right. You know? No, yeah, exactly. That makes sense. <clears throat> but yeah, man, it's a, it's a sad day. It really sucks, man, because... I mean, anytime it's like no matter how you feel about any publicly elected official, like I think killing any of them is not the right. I mean, not the right call, right? <laughs> like, no, no. I mean, like, Jonah speaking, the, speaking the hard but, facts. But like, but but also, there's 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 government officials like Hitler who. <laughs> I mean, Jonas, are you saying it was okay to kill Hitler? <laughs> I don't have oh any opinion. God. Oh my god! About any, no, but like it's it's but but even then, should I mean they didn't kill him? I think he killed himself, right? But anyways, but like but even then, it isn't about killing them. It's about getting them out of power, putting them in jail, right? The ultimate goal isn't like you're bad, kill you. It's they want all, nobody wants to murder. They want to capture them and get them out of power. The goal isn't to murder them, usually. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I mean, like if if. You don't, you don't think we could have took? Uh, you don't think we could have took Osama bin Laden alive? If, if we would have been able to take him alive, we would have taken him alive. You think? Absolutely, thousand percent. He's worth more alive than he is dead. Well, who was the other guy? Uh, Saddam. So yeah, I was gonna say. But that Saddam was like was... a weird. Remember that video came out? They had him in like some weird dark room, hanging I him in a. There's. I'm like, what the hell happened I there? Do remember that? Like, that but, was some. That was anyone, some real shit that happened there. Evil, I didn't get that. evil leaders in quotes evil entities Osama Bin Laden, they're all worth more alive than dead. Are they? Because if you kill them, that's automatic. That's like an instant win. Yeah, but... That's insta win. But if you could get them and, and it's like... I think it's the it's almost like not quite martyrdom, but it's like if you kill them, they become a martyr. Yeah, if you take them saying. alive and put them through the whole process of going to court and questioning them and keeping them trapped yeah. in a cell information and, that he knows and is serving valuable. and, and, and you know, having to serve time for your evil deeds. It's almost like killing them. They get out easy because they don't want to live in jail anyway, and they become a martyr. So then they're like, oh, he died for us. Now let's take him and move forward like yeah, yeah. it's it's weird man that, that's fair that whole that i think all that crap is weird well our condolences to the ob to the uh abe family i don't know yeah, absolutely dude. man i, I mean that sucks dude. the guys out there just giving us you know? 
just out there giving a speech and somebody decides to murder him. You know what I mean? It sucks, man. It's just and that's but it's weird because you don't hear about that shit in Japan. That's what's weird about it. On top of yeah, everything else, yeah, it's like yeah. in a, if that happened, if dude, if somebody tried to somebody shot an old U.S. president, they'd be like, "That's America doing America stuff again." Yeah, like, and, the, and the last thing I want to hear is anybody saying, dude, "See, they have gun, they have gun problems in, in over there too." <laughs> right. Be like, motherfucker, we had that many <laughs> right now, right? And yeah, right exactly. now. Oh, and yeah. right now. Yeah. And right now. And right now. Oh, so, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, anyways, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to crazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.